What's up, my math athletes? Here we are taking a look at example number four of how to change an absolute value function into a piecewise function. So let's go ahead and take a look at our fourth and final example. So here we are with the absolute value function y equals negative two times the absolute value of x plus two plus one. So when we look at this, okay, what we're going to do, of course, we're, you guys are probably super solid with analyzing this by now. So I'm really excited about that. So we're just going to jump right in. We know our A value is negative 2, which tells me that's going to open down. So generally speaking, my absolute value is going to go in that shape, in that kind of direction. The H and K, remember, don't flip, forget to flip the sign. So that two inside the absolute value bracket becomes negative two. And then one is going to be my K value, which tells me my vertex is at negative two, one. So I'm gonna plot that dot, negative two, one, boom, there it is. I'm also gonna take the H value of negative two and I can plug that in right here to both of these pieces of my piecewise function. So that just comes from identifying A, H, and K. Now, again, I got to remember my a value is negative. So since my a value is negative, that's going to tell me that it is opening down. My absolute value function is opening down. In addition, my two slopes are going to be positive two and negative two. So on this side, so let's go over to this picture right here. So on this side, I know that my slope is going to be positive two because that's slanted in an upward direction. And from previous videos, you might also remember that that is where our function is increasing, is going to be on that side. I don't know why the ruler keeps popping up. And on the other side, when our slope is going down, when our slope is going down, that is going to have a slope of negative two because there the function is going to be decreasing. So with that said, let's go ahead and draw our absolute value function. Again, start at the vertex. We're going to go down two from the vertex into the right one. Put a dot. Down two to the right one. Put a dot. Ooh, look at that dot. It's on the y-axis. Yay, so that's my y-intercept for one of them. And then go down two, put a dot, and that's as many dots as we can fit for the right-hand side, my decreasing side. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the left-hand side. Again, my slope is going to be positive two, but from the vertex, I'm going to go down two to the right left one, down two to the left one, down two to the left one. And that's as many dots as I can fit on the graph. So here is our lovely absolute value graph right there. So that's pretty cool, right? Now, the left-hand side, um, hmm, I know that the slope on the left-hand side is two because uh, of the A value right there, and we identified that before. So that means that's gonna be two X, and the slope on the left-hand side, um, I'm sorry, the right-hand side, the slope on the right-hand side is negative. 2x. So those two pieces come from just analyzing the a value or maybe you look at the slopes between any of the two points on the left or right sides. Now what's even cooler is that if I look on the right hand side I already know right here that the y-intercept is at negative three, so that's a coordinate zero, negative three, which means that the right-hand side, the side that is in the bottom of my absolute value function written as a piecewise function, that is right there. So I'm already done with that part, booyah, coolio, right? Now I just have to figure out what the y-intercept is for the left-hand side. And so from the vertex, I'm going to continue that movement pattern. I'm going to go up one, two, over one, up one, two, over one. And I can see that that's going to intersect the y-axis at y equals five. So at zero, five, that's my other y-intercept. So that's for the left-hand side. So that's plus five. So booyah. Those are going to be my two... Uh, equations that would make up the piecewise function that is defined by the absolute value function y equals negative two times the quantity or times the absolute value of x plus two plus one. Now, when you're doing these on your graph, and I think I forgot to mention this in the other videos, be sure you erase these dots because they're not part of the graph at all. Your graph should just be a picture of the absolute value function. No extra stuff, at least not yet. More on that later. So let's go ahead and verify these algebraically, algebraically, and we'll get after that. Again, you can pick any points that you want. I'm going to go ahead and pick 
on the left side point, I'm gonna just pick the very first one at the point negative three, negative one. So negative three, negative one, that's gonna be my point there. And I know on the left side, my M is negative two. So I know that. So let's go ahead and figure that out. Now, on the right-hand side, uh, go ahead and pick, I'll pick the same point there. I'll pick negative one, negative one. I'm gonna use that point, and I know on this side, my slope is negative two. So the slope on, on the right side is negative two, and the slope on the left side is positive two. So I misspoke there and wrote the incorrect thing. So left side should have a slope of two. If you caught that, booyah, good for you. If you missed that, make sure that you check that out. So that slope should be negative two. All right, now let's go ahead and, and get after these algebraically. If you're cool with that, go ahead and just pause the video, come back, check it out, make sure that what you get matches the absolute value function that we wrote in the piecewise section. So that should be matchy matchy with everything that's in here, the left side and the right side. And remember, the left side goes in the top and the right side goes in the bottom when we write our piecewise defined function. So enough about that. Actually, let's go ahead and get after this now. So again, we're gonna start with y equals mx plus b. And I know that my m is two, my x coordinate is negative three. B is what we're trying to figure out, and negative one is the value of my y coordinate in the left side point. From here, it's just arithmetic. So negative one is going to be negative six plus b. And then when you add six to both sides, you get five for the value of b, which gives me the equation y equals 2x plus 5. Does that matchy matchy with the left-hand side equation that we have over there? Yes. Yes, it does. Cool. We're happy about that. So anytime we do that, so this guy right here matches this guy right here, we're solid. Now, got to check the same thing on the other one. So let's go ahead and do that. So on the other one, same idea, we're gonna write down y equals mx plus b. So get in the habit of writing that formula down because in that way that kind of gets to your brain going a little bit. And then the y and the x are both the same value, they're both negative one. So I put substitute those in. Negative two is gonna go in for the m because that is the slope on the left hand side or on the right hand side. And again, negative one is the x coordinate and b is what we're trying to figure out. When we do the arithmetic, when we do all that substituting, we end up with negative one equals the product of negative two and one, of course, is positive two plus b. And then when you move the uh, two over by subtracting two on both sides, you get negative three for b, which gives me the equation y equals negative two x minus three. And again, we wanna look, does that equation match the equation that's in the bottom over here? Yes, yes it does. You're happy, I'm happy, everybody's happy. Yay for math. All right, Coolio. So that's it, these are four examples. I think you guys could probably start to do these in your sleep by now, which is good, which is good. That's where you wanna be. You wanna be automaticity. You want this to be so easy that you don't even have to think about it, which is what automaticity means. So there's your SAT word of the day. Thanks for watching this video, boys and girls. I'll catch up with you later. Peace out.